Hi everyone, I am Nathan Hode and I'm making an adventure game starring our cat, Coco. Recently, I've been reworking my tile sets to use a more Zelda Link to the Past kind of perspective, but they aren't quite done yet, so in this video I'm going to be talking about something else that I've been asked about a lot. People always seem to want to know how to get a nice high resolution overlay on top of a pixel art game world. The answer is mostly as simple as you might expect. I just zoomed the world camera in. I say mostly as simple because there's a couple of things to how this actually works. First, make sure your project resolution is something higher like 1920 by 1080. You can set the resolution in Project Settings, Window. Then, make sure it's set to scale properly by setting Mode to 2D and Aspect to Keep. Then, my camera does a few things to set the zoom up. First, the zoom is handled in reverse. I tell it how big I want the pixels to be and it sets the inverse of that for the zoom. To me, this is easier to understand especially when I'm trying to draw the art and work out how much of the screen each thing is going to take up. Then I can use the pixels per pixel value to translate between pixel art coordinates and screen coordinates. You can see an example of this working when characters in the game talk. The balloon is attached to them and the camera centers on their position in the pixel world. The calculation for translating a pixel position to a screen position is pretty straightforward. We get the camera position and then adjust it by the same scale as our pixel size. I've added a few other handy things to my camera too. It handles screen shake as well as temporarily tweening to different targets like what you'd see during dialogue. It also handles setting up its limits. The method for defining positionable limits for a camera is something I learned from doing the Heartbeast Action RPG series which I'll link to in the description, but I've added one twist. Instead of using editable children, I export two node paths to point to position 2D nodes for top left and bottom right. This way, if you don't specify them, the camera will happily keep its maximum limits. Okay, so the camera handles the pixel art stuff, but what about the high resolution overlay? Well, the camera doesn't actually handle any of this part. Coco's hearts and the input prompts and the dialogue balloons are all rendered on a canvas layer that is set to not follow the viewport. They get rendered at the native resolution of the game on top of everything else. And there you have it. Like most things in Godot, it's pretty simple in the end. Well, I'm going to jump back into finishing this tile set off, so I'll leave you with one last thing. I've started a Discord to chat about game stuff, so if you want to join, there's an invite link in the description. I'll see you there.